President Joe Biden's administration on Thursday said it will add sections to a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border amid a record number of migrant crossings. It's a reversal that embraces a signature policy of former President Donald Trump, who made building the wall a central tenet of his first campaign for president. Biden told reporters it was out of his hands. I tried to get them to reappropriate, to redirect that money. They didn't. They wouldn't. And in the meantime, there's nothing under the law other than they have to use the money for what was appropriate. I can't stop that. But when asked if he thought the border wall worked, he responded, No. Later, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre wouldn't specify what law exactly the administration would be breaking if they didn't use the funds. Uh, this is a law that we are complying with. Trump was quick to claim victory and demanded an apology on his Truth Social platform, writing, quote, Will Joe Biden apologize to me in America for taking so long to get moving? I will await his apology. Meanwhile, Mexico's president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, criticized the decision. This authorization for the construction of the wall is a step backwards. That does not solve the problem. That does not solve the problem. We have to address the causes. The Biden administration has been struggling operationally and politically, with a record number of migrant crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border during Biden's term, with new highs hit in September. Migrant numbers initially plummeted after a new tougher rule was put in place after Title 42 expired in May. But in recent weeks, numbers have begun rising again, straining U.S. cities at the border and further north. Uh, it is just not sustainable, this flow. During a visit to Mexico City on Thursday, part of a tour through Latin America, New York City Mayor Eric Adams said his city cannot accommodate any more migrants. Uh, we are at capacity. And many people believe when you enter New York City, you're going to automatically have a job. You automatically are going to be living in a hotel. Uh, and there's just a, a, a climate that's there and just not a reality. According to Adams, more than 100,000 migrants have arrived in New York City since last spring, which he says has resulted in $12 billion in additional city spending. 